What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Can I break off a piece of guys for sticking with me if you're watching this video that means you haven't forgot about me um, I was sick for about two weeks um, I lost my voice and then the third week it came back but I was like having cough attacks so I literally couldn't speak like two or three sentences without coughing and it was seriously a nightmare but I'm better I'm back I'm excited and I'm ready to give you guys a really dope video. All right, today, wait, are you ready? Are you sure? Cause I'm ready. All right, so today we're gonna take you on a isolated arm workout. So a lot of People have been asking me, okay, how do you target your arms? What's your arm workout look like? What do you do? Um, and so that is what I'm gonna do for you all today. One of the main things that happen is that we get complacent and we do the same exercises over and over again at the gym and then our muscles start to get um, you know, used to those and then we hit a plateau. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna spice up a few of the exercises that you probably already do but it's gonna isolate your biceps, your triceps, your shoulders even more so that you can get that kind of more cut look. If that's what you're going for. All right, we're gonna hit the gym and I'll see y'all in a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What is up guys? So we are starting this workout with some seated dumbbell curls. You want to do seated because then like in the corner, you are avoiding using that momentum and that kind of bounce from your legs. So you're really just using your biceps and nothing else. Make sure to breathe, of course. And really focus on that mind-muscle connectivity. Here we are doing a preacher curl but single arm. So I love doing things single armed because I don't know about you, but my right hand is more dominant. And when it's more dominant, when I do double armed bicep curls, the right arm really takes over. Now, doing a preacher curl is a lot better than just regular kind of bicep curls because even here when I'm using both my arms, I still get that main focus on my biceps because of how a preacher curl is pretty much set up. Now what we're doing is we're going to go into a shoulder isolation. One of my favorite things to do is to incorporate static holds throughout the days I really want to get some isolation work in. Now the reason why I do static holds is because it then forces your core to really tighten up and you avoid using that bounce that I was talking about in those bicep curls. So not only that, you still get that extra burn as well. Like my arm right there is up and it's not just hanging out, it's burning as I get that other arm really working. So these are also really important to, again, keep that muscle mind connectivity because that's really gonna be the key to these isolation movements. Now we're going into some tricep work. I love tricep work, but it's also one of the harder muscles that I have had to build. So what I did is I moved from machines into dumbbells. And when I'm doing dumbbell work, I also incorporate a drop set in my last sets. What that is, is each set you go down 
10 pounds or five pounds and what that does is as you keep going down there's no breaks in between so your muscle is continuously working to its exhaustion but when you drop the weight it allows you to keep going regardless of the fact that it's extremely tired right as you can see um, I then did some single arm work again because you know how great that is my right my left hand has no help from my right hand and that is really important to keeping a balanced physique if that's something that you're looking for and then I rounded off the workout with some tricep dips because anything body weight is gonna be isolation there's nothing that you can use no machine to kind of compensate for your muscles so there you go <laughs> mini grocery haul so i went to target and i got a couple things just a small grocery haul because i already have chicken tilapia a lot of my proteins oatmeal because i got them from costco so they last me forever Um, so I just got basic, basic things that I needed to re, <laughs> did you get it right when I went like that? That I needed to restock up on. So, spinach, bananas, I always get the really, really green ones because Melissa always tells me that I waste them and doesn't allow me to get more than four bananas at a time. Of blueberries, this Pacific Power Green, got frozen peppers for stir fry because I don't do very well with fresh peppers. They always seem to get old. So, got some frozen ones. Um, and green and crispy. So then that way my salads don't get boring. I don't stick with just spinach. Um, and then random, random things that end up in my bag. So actually, so actually, if I would have went to Target, this would have cost me, but I went to the dollar store, so I got everything for one, two, three, four, six bucks. So, mini grocery haul, and that's it. Alright guys. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please forgive my lack of editing skills. Um, I promise I'm working on it. But until the next video, I just wanted to say thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. And until the next one. Bye.